Thanks for joining me on another episode of Anne of Green Garden. It's January in the Central Valley of California, a great time to plant potatoes. You can also plant them in February and early March. I have prepared the bed here ahead of time by adding compost. So when you plant potatoes, what you want to ask yourself is how big you want them. So if you want smaller potatoes, you plant them closer together. So you would plant them about six inches apart. If you want your potatoes to get bigger, you can plant them a foot apart. However, you can also harvest them a little bit early to get the, what they call the new potatoes, which are those yummy small potatoes that you can have and enjoy with your meal. So what I've done here is the holes are three to four inches deep, and I've planted them, are spacing them about six inches apart. And then what's going to happen is, um, as the potatoes come up, I'm going to hill around them, and the potatoes will begin to develop in that nice area of either compost or straw, depending on what you want to add over the stem. And you don't want to add it over the top of the stem to cover it, because you want the plant to be able to keep growing and photosynthesizing. You want to add it towards the sides. So what I did was my potatoes were rather large when I got them, so I cut them up into little pieces. And this is a LaRousse fingerling potato, and each of these little points on here is an eye. So when you cut the potato, you want to make sure it's at least one inch by one inch square, and that you've got at least two eyes on it. And then you plant them with the eye facing up. So if you want to take a look down into my hole here, I'll show you our little potato. There he is. And then I'm just going to come back over, cover it up, and since it's pretty wet out here, we may not add any additional water. There may be enough rainwater that will keep them moist for a little while, and then eventually in the spring they'll start pushing and growing and getting larger. And then, like I said, you just keep um, adding your soil up around. And then eventually in May you'll begin to see that the potatoes will flower and start to die, and that's when it's time to harvest. So you can pick up the new potatoes when you're seeing the flowers going, and then pick up the old potatoes later. And the neat thing is you can leave them in the ground for a couple months afterwards and just dig them up when you're ready. And we usually recommend that you use a mattock or um, a shovel and dig around really gently so that you don't cut into the potatoes, and then keep them in a cool place until you're ready to enjoy them with yourself.